This is Joe and thanks for watching Tech with Joe. Today this video is going to cover Sailfish OS and whether it's the Linux phone for you. Let's get started. Sailfish OS came out in 2013 and it's on its fourth major update since that date. Sailfish is known primarily for its security and customizability. Wait, is that a word? Ease of access and use and a decent amount of apps from the Jolla store, although it also has Android functionality. More on that a little bit later. Now one last side note while I've got you on this slide. On the right hand side I'm showing the phones that Sailfish is compatible with. One note here, they are compatible with primarily Sony Xperia devices, officially supported at least. Meaning that you can get it loaded on an old Nexus 5 or something else, but officially supported software is on the Sony Xperia devices. This is version 4.4.0.58 of Sailfish OS. Let's get right into some videos of the phone. Let's start off with themes, or what Sailfish OS calls ambiances. Sailfish OS has built-in themes or ambiances. By swiping down anywhere on the screen, can then change these ambiances as you can see here. I like this one. Besides having all of the ambiances to choose from, which there are many, there are actually quite a few beautiful built-in stock images as backgrounds to choose from. Now let's talk about some general phone navigation. When you swipe right or left, you reach the notification screen. It's all about those apps. Let's talk about them. When you swipe up from the bottom, you'll notice an app drawer, like you would with any Android device. The official app store for the Sailfish OS phone is Jolla Store. The next app store I'll highlight here is the Storm Man. It's an open source bunch of apps. And lastly, we have Aptoid, which is your Android apps for those that can't live without them. Android app supports made possible by something called Alien Dalvik, which I'll go into in a little more detail further on in the video. Next, let's go over a few apps in detail. Here you'll be able to see what they look like and how you would interact with them. Here's our default weather app. And what good phone would be without a calculator? Notice as I pull down inside of an app that the app's preferences or menu changes depending on what is available within that app. While there is a stock note-taking app, it is lacking in many respects. But if all you're looking to do is a simple jot down a note, 
this will suffice. Installing apps is a familiar process to anyone who's had a smartphone, either Apple or Android, in the past. Here you'll see an install of an application for Maps. That way we can navigate around town. The thing that you're not able to see within the video is when you pull down on a menu, you get a satisfying haptic feedback to let you know you've selected the item. Maybe you want to close out all your applications for some reason? Make sure to use the close all feature for your convenience. Of course with a combination of my fat fingers and not waiting for the haptic feedback, you'll get this result. Let's try that one more time. So far it's been almost all good, let's talk about some of the possible negatives. While you can try Sailfish OS for free, a Sailfish X license for your phone will cost you 49.90 euro, and that's per year. What do you get? You get Alien Dalvik Control, which is Android support for their applications, as well as OS support for the year and future updates. Now if everything so far sounds reasonable and great, this one could be a deal breaker for you. It is only available in the European Union, the UK, Norway, Switzerland, and other authorized countries as Jala sees fit. Meaning that for all of those in the United States, it is not available officially. You cannot get a supported copy of Sailfish X in the United States. Having said that, there are resourceful folks that have copies of Sailfish X, and the way to do that would be research online. I will not give those at this time. 